Hey YouTube, um, today I'm going to be talking about things that really, really get annoying on Facebook, whatever, Twitter. It's like a rant, but I'm going to like, rant, do rants about like heaps of things like teachers and all that. First, I'm going to start with Facebook, so this video might be a bit long, so um, I'll give you a second to pause it, go get some popcorn, go to the toilet, get a drink, whatever. Okay, I waited. Okay, you guys are lucky that I even waited because I wouldn't have waited. Okay. Things that annoy me on Facebook. I'm actually looking, so. Okay. Oh, I put names with them. Like for this. If I saw you, I would run up and hug you, scream your name super loud, say hi, etc. Dot, dot, dot. They're annoying. If you want to tell someone that, give them a phone call. It's not hard. You pick up the phone, put it, you pick up the phone, dial in a number, dial in their phone number, put it to your ear, no, press the talk. Put it to your ear and say hello. And I don't, I don't you know what? I'm gonna put this in response to Teddy's Facebook rant because I love Teddy and I think he's like, oh, I just, oh. people that say okay. People that say, oh my gosh, I think I need a boyfriend. Go dress up, go out, go to the club, go go to the mall, whatever. That's how you can get a boyfriend. You're not going to get a boyfriend through Facebook. Okay? Yeah, you're not going to get a, face a boyfriend through Facebook. In fact, you should actually go out to a club. Oh, wait. Half the people on Facebook. Okay, second thing. Half of the people on Facebook aren't even old enough to be on Facebook. There's like 12 year olds on Facebook who think they're like 50, 22, whatever. I am the legal age. I am not telling my age, but I am. I swear. I have to change that. I'm just looking. People that do memory. Like for our best memory. If you want to look at your best memory with, don't like the status first. If you want to look at the best memory of you and your friends, look at pictures, look on your phone, iPod, camera, computer. Don't like their status. Oh, it's just annoying. And people that like post pictures. Okay, now. Yeah. Okay, how's it so far? There's a picture right there. Someone's sticking a needle into their finger and it says, Hit like if you have ever done this before. And, well, it's happened to me before, but it was all by accident. Yeah. And girls on Facebook. We do not, like, people do not appreciate it when you pose like this, or like, or do duck lips, like, oh no, like this. Or uh, you go like this, and like, have a really showy top on, no one wants that. Especially guys, you think it attracts guys? Well, I'd highly doubt that. If you go watch Teddy's Facebook rant, he doesn't, probably doesn't like that. In fact, you know, oh, it's just annoying. I hate it. Sometimes I want to throw my Facebook at the window. And, okay, depressing statuses. If you have a problem, go to a, 
a psychologist, a counsellor, whatever. If you have a problem, Facebook will not help. Yeah, Facebook is not going to help you and and you should probably just get a life if, if you say like you miss someone. Like go and see them. It's probably not hard. You could jump in your car. Ask your mother if you could go for a walk to see them, hang out with them, call them, whatever. But if you post a depressing status, I will grab my Nerf gun and I will come to your house, okay? And then I'll give you something to be depressed about. Depressing status. So I'm just checking his online because I think my friend might be online but I don't know. I have heaps of friends online. But I don't talk to them because no one wants to hear you ranting about whatever. Well I'm ranting right now but it's the people who post about things that they're doing like Oh, uh, I'm getting dressed now. What do you want? People, what, what do you want people to say? Oh, uh, put make a video and then post it on Facebook or send me a picture of your bibs or whatever. I don't care. But no one wants to hear that. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this up soon. Walk quest. I'm just gonna say friends quest, whatever. Game quest. To be personally, to be honest, game request, I, not all of them, I hate, I don't, I hate it, I do not play games on Facebook, or any other site like that, and I hate getting games request. I should probably post that on Facebook, I should probably, like, say something to them, like, Oh, do not give me friends or quest like game requests and stuff like that. I always I'll come to your house and gang bash you. Or I'll give you something to send a request about. I mean, and then a friends request. Look, the other day I got a friends request from people I didn't even know just because I joined a group because my friend's birthday. My friend's birthday. I won't say when it is because it's personal information. My friend's birthday group thing. I swear, if you've sent me another friend's quest of people I don't like or do not know, I will. Oh, I don't even know what I'm going to do. Okay, that's my Facebook friend. Now, school. No, now I'll do Twitter. Okay, I'll give you another second to go to the toilet again, go get some popcorn, chips, um, biscuits. And I'll give you a chance to get a drink like Coke, Fanta, soda, or just any. Guys, I'm back with my rant. Before I just do Facebook now and then do Twitter. Because some Twitter things really, really get really annoying and I really don't like it. Okay, let's just go on to Twitter. Okay. Poses. If you like. Poses on Twitter. I personally have been followed by posers, and trust me, they they are really annoying. You like they make like Justin Bieber has posers, and so does One Direction. Trust me, um, they're like, ah, uh, um, like people say, ah, oh, um, oh, can you please follow me? I'm a big fan, and all that kind of crap. But and they like follow you, and they like to check out your every status. They check out your pictures, their pairs. They probably want to go on webcam with you again. They probably want to Skype with you or something. I don't know, but I don't really care. If you ever get one of those, you should not talk to them. Do not talk to them. 
Do not have any contact with them. For people that now people that tried to be cool all over Twitter. Like Ah oh, need five more likes. I mean sorry about that bit of a thing. Need five more people to follow, Nate. Someone say the name for me. I I'll Reese. Damn Reese, if you if you follow. I don't care. Okay. Facebook. I mean, Twitter does not care about who people like who you want to follow and whatever. I don't care. People face. I keep saying Facebook, but Twitter does not care. Twitter does not need to know who you want to follow. You can actually follow it by yourself. Like, click the who to follow button or the search button, search them up, and then hit the follow button, which is normally on that side. That side. Yeah. Oh, it's gone now. Oh. oh, this is really annoying me. Like, I don't know, you could just like they make you think that you're like they're like you're going to like you actually loved and stuff. But to be honest, man, man, you're not. So I was just searching out some. People that say that they're going to like, oh, phone's going flat, gotta go, or computer's going flat, or phone's tripping out, that's really annoying. No one likes it. Okay. Now I'm going to stop ranting on about all of that stuff. Because no one cares, I have no life, and no one cares, but, yeah, okay, no, okay, no, I'll do a s teacher one, sorry if I look bad, by the way, I know my company and nothing, just hair, and clothes, and headbands, and microphone, yeah, whatever, I don't care, people that, like, oh, it's school, If you're gonna go to school, like where I live is in Australia. I actually live near the gym so that's what they call. But uh, in Australia, yeah, like some part, some schools, you have to wear uniform. But like people that like, I was still I can still do this because people that dress inappropriate, inappropriate for school. You think you're cool, but you're not. Like, people that wear, like... I personally have experienced this. Like, someone has done this at my school. They, like... So, you know how on girls' summer dresses, they have, like, buttons going down to do them up? They leave the first two buttons undone. And they walk around like, Oh, my gosh, I'm so cool, but I'm... Just want... I'm just a slight... Yeah. Don't ever do that. You think it's cool, but it's not. Really, it's not. Okay, now people that wear their, I'm just going to just talk about uniform now, I'll talk about the teachers and other stuff. I'll talk about, friend, I'll talk about uniform friends and teachers. Okay, so I'm just thinking, Pe people that wear their dresses, they like, they wear the top bit appropriately, but the bottom bit is always, it always shows their butt, and girls, but no one likes to see your butt when you bend over to pick up a pencil or go Oops, I dropped my pencil and bends over. No one wants to see that. If you're wearing a summer dress, it should not be that much it should not be that much above your knees. It should be at least there. Above oh, even lower. There above your knees. 
No one wants to see it be that much above your knees. Everyone said like that much above your knees. So I was just taking them. No one okay, no one talk about friends. Some people you think you have real friends but most of the, some of the time they're fake. Like no one likes fake people at all. No one likes them. So, um yeah, I'm just turning on my Ow! That hurt. I'm just turning on my bedroom light because there is no light in here. So I'm turning it on. I have to reach over because my computer cord only goes so far. Okay. Sorry about my hips, really annoying. No one wants. Like fake heads in their life. No one wants to see. Yeah. Okay, that's my other friend now. I'm gonna talk about teachers. Teachers are such. Oh, they're just, oh, they're so annoying. Like, you'd be doing your work and they'd be handing out the results to an essay. You'd get under 50%. And they'd be like, oh, I'm gonna help you with this. And I'd be like, I tried, okay? I did not pass, but at least I tried, and I would, and, yeah. And teachers that go, on, like, your work day, right on it, they're like, oh, good try, but, oh, good tr try, but it's not good enough, you need to, like, make your words go on the line. You just said good try, you don't, you're trying to, like, Put the people, it's like putting people down. No one wants to be put down by teachers. Okay, so I'm drinking chocolate because I need some chocolate. I need my healing. This is actually um um really sweet cherry ripe flavor. Yep. No one wants to hear our teachers. At all. No. No one. Like, sometimes when I'm in school, the teacher will explain something and, like, I wouldn't understand it. They'd go, like, oh, do you understand? And I'd be like, um, okay, whatever. Then, like, when I'm trying to do my work, I, like, don't understand it. And I put my hand up and they're like, Oh, and then they take like the half the freaking excuse my language, but half the freaking lesson just to get over to you. I mean, like I have my hand up like an hour, and yeah, the teacher's like, I'll be I'll be there in a second. I'll be there after I help. Da da da. I'll be. I'm just gonna make up the name. I'll be there after I help John. So you just like okay, then you put your hand down. And they go to a uh, like. Another person, you put your hand up and they say, Oh, I'll be there in a minute. And you put your hand back down because you know they're going to come. They don't come. Which is really annoying. Like, and then you'd like get in like an after school detention or something because you didn't get your work done. Duh, I need to help. Duh. Like, duh. Like, duh, I need help. And you didn't help me. And then they like give you like. And now the two detentions. What? What the fuck? I needed help and you didn't help me. My chocolate. No. And you'd be like, oh, I needed help, but you didn't bother to come help me, and they'd be like. Don't answer back. You're having another three detention. I'll be like, I'll be like, I'll be like, go get stuck. I'm not coming. And I'll be like, oh, another ten detentions. Over. Don't go anyway. Mm -mm. Another thing that really annoys me about teachers is like. You walk in the class, right? Right? Oh, five ten minutes, say. And you walk in, it'll be like this awkward moment where 
if a student in class scares at you and says so like, why are you late? I'd be like, because my sister takes forever in the bathroom. Alright, that's time count. It's not my fault, I'm not in the bath, my sister. Whatever. I'm hungry, I'm not. Gonna get a drink now. Okay. Teachers that say like always oh, like you'd be like um I was baking a cake. I mean like I was begging you a cake. But you really weren't. You were in the car trying to get here as fast as you can because it's you can't get there because there's peak hour traffic every nine o'clock, eight thirty, ten, whatever. Peak hour. And they'd be like, Oh, you have like a detention now, time counts. I'd be like, Far oh, out. I never had time counts before because I'm always like never late. Well, I need to do something. I'm gonna lie down on my bed. You guys can see If I like do something, I'll do it. Okay. Now to get on to another rant because I am in the mood. Family and gatherings. I kind of don't really have much rant about this, but. Family gatherings, like, you'd be, like, all dressed in, like, shorts and a t-shirt, and, you might, and like, one of your family members would be like, oh, um, it's a formal thing. I'd be like, oh, I just got dressed and did my hair and makeup and everything to suit this outfit. Then you'd have to go redo it all. My family thinks I'm weird and I'm talking to a camera, but... I don't care. Okay. Okay. I think that's enough, but I still have more things to run about, so I might do a part two later. Right. Bye. Peace.